Greetings and salutations, my friends. I hope that you're keeping well. Today on the show, we're going to be doing a watch along to a movie. I've got to look at the title because I keep forgetting it's a long title. A long one, big one. The Angry Black Girl and the Monster and her monster, the angry black girl and her monster. I suppose it's a reimagining or a newer version of a story like Frankenstein, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. For those wondering as well, I will be covering and doing reactions to movies such as Guardians of the Galaxy 3, The Flash and all the other new movies as soon as they come out on digital release. So if you want to see the reactions, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I think that's enough for the intro, ain't it really? You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. What? Straight away, loving the music, piano vibes, nice. I heard my mom's heart stop when I was eight. My mom's last heartbeat. Oh my goodness. She would have been a doctor. What? A five year plan broken with one bullet. Someone shot her in the head, what? If death is a disease, then there's a cure. Unfortunately, my love, there is no cure for death. We all pass on to the other side. She wants to cure death. So this is her story. So her mum must have been hit by a stray bullet, I guess, or something like that. I don't know how you'd want to go on after that. You've lost everyone. That's just... Love her glasses, though. Super cool. Uh, that's disgusting. When are you coming through? Uh, this afternoon? Oh, alright. Yo, you're so hard to call me the mad scientist. <laughs> She's the mad scientist. Come with my homework again. I can already tell this, this film's going to have some really good music. I can tell straight away the intro had good music. We've got good music now. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. That looks very similar to a place near where I grew up. Looks just like that. I'm missing something, can I? So I'm taking it as drugs. Are they dealers or something? The only thing I can do is... Oh, wait, I got it. Chromium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a little sweetheart she is. You have ketchup on your glasses. That's not ketchup, that's blood, mate. So she is the mad scientist then. Okay. No, 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 Jerome, no. Open the door. And do you really want to know I know all the ways someone can die? Just open the door. It's because I have bodies in there. I think she does, though. That's the thing. You're the body switch. I'm just messing with you. Come on. But she actually is. It's almost incurable because there, there are, are over 100 different types. That is right, Vicaria. Is her name Vicaria? Are you kidding me right now? I need security at room 10 each, please. Okay, come on. Thank you. That's a bit much. You can just go to detention yourself, or you can wait to be escorted by an officer. It is your choice, Vicaria. It is Vicaria. I love that name. I love that name. If you look right... Oh, so we've got a racist teacher then. Let's go. I said let's go. Oh my god. So that teaches a complete piece of crap then. Right, we've got that loud and clear. There was no need for the teacher to behave like that. She was off the rails anyway, Vicaria, but still. Dad ain't happy. Oh fuck me, look who it is! Bloody Walking Dead! Big man in The Walking Dead! It's all she talks about in my classroom. Maybe an alternative school. Oh, wow. And I will continue to encourage my daughter to think outside the box. Well, her dad supports her. That's good. What I need from you is to not call the goddamn cops on my daughter. That's the child, not you. That's a fair, strong enough opinion from dad. And I like that he backed his daughter. Our last name is German because... Some overseer probably branded one of my ancestors. I thought at the beginning of the movie, I thought, oh, this looks like a nice neighbourhood. And I said, it's like a, a little bit like the area where I used to live as a kid. But this isn't that. <laughs> I 
So yeah, it's quite disturbing really. I'm liking the whole vibe of this film though. Okay, this is a bit disgusting though. Like for a child to be thinking and doing this sort of thing's a bit messed up, ain't it? No way. So she's using electricity in that to get the heart pump in. She's stitching his face back on. Oh my goodness. It's been a while, but you're gonna be okay. Is this actually her brother then? You know, he's just thinking about your brother. He didn't even have the chance to bury him. I just wish I could catch that sick fuck who took his body. Ah. Uh... We're missing these. Ooh, hey. Oh, so, so she really has been taking bodies then and doing testing on them. Okay. When you call her a bitch, you call all of us one. That's me, mama, and grandma. Is that what you want? So hang on, she's pregnant. So is that his, her brother's girlfriend, right? Without an attitude. <laughs> she about to get popped. <laughs> she know it. Stop playing with me, little... I love her, little feisty one, isn't she? Little cutie, I love her. That's no place to be living, is it? A kid, some, someone's kid got shot? Jesus. That's the little boy that she was with. Oh my God. He's just a child. Oh my god. Come on, mate, come on. So she's thinking about her brother and that, yeah? Oh, poor kid. That's really hard hitting. That's awful. That's so awful. So it's making the point of what's going on in the world really with crime around the world and kids being involved in it. This shit happens. Damn. Yeah, it's making some good points. That's going to make her more determined not to fail, ain't it? It's like a crazy concoction, isn't it? Here it goes. Madness, isn't it? I'm just looking at this, I'm thinking it's a, ge a ghetto version of Frankenstein. It's sick. I think a few people will be asking questions after all that noise, though. And there's only like a little bit of metal holding him. It's gonna grab her, it's gonna grab her. I told ya. That's not good. I mean, that's what she wanted, but that's still not good. Oh no, he's gone. I told you there weren't enough holding him. <laughs> Holy shit! I did it! Oh my god! Did you know what you're doing? Holy shit. Are you not freaked out here like you've just brought someone back to life? Oh my god. Does he understand? I wonder if he like knows what's going on or I'm gonna show you who killed you. Wowza. So does he understand? I just I really need to know if he's aware. Who the fuck Yo, is you? No, no, no. no, you stay. I said move. <laughs> oh my god.
Oh my god, he almost ripped his throat out. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she didn't really think this through. Like, she's not going to be able to hide for much longer, do you know what I'm saying? They know where she lives, they know everything about her. Was that a dream or was that real? Because if that's real, why didn't they go to her house? They would have done. Oh gosh, yeah, it was all real, it was all real, okay. So why didn't they go to her place then? So were these the guys that killed her brother, right? I mean, I got a laugh for you. Whole little chemistry set too. You get busy in there, do your little tables and whatnot. Oh, she's got herself involved in a big mess now. Death come quick around here. So she, her brother, or the monster's gonna have to take out all of them. Guy's just walking around with a goddamn machete like it's nothing. I don't know where he is. Ah, so there is somebody. God. Yeah, that whole thing with the machete would make me a bit uneasy, to be honest. You like rice? Me personally, I love rice. I like rice, it's nice. What are you gonna do if you find him? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty messed up. Great um, effects, though. Great makeup. I bet you just focus on cutting, measuring, and bagging. Keep that little bougie ass attitude to yourself, yeah? Yeah, these guys are really nasty, aren't they? Don't be slamming my fucking door! Yeah, I'm not a fan of them guys at all. Oh, I thought she was poor. Oh no, the door's open! Did he get out? Oh dear. Is that him outside? Holy crap. So I take it the monster's got out and he's just... Oh my goodness. Can I practice my alphabet a little more? Okay, but this is the last day. Yay. <laughs> She's a little superstar. What with my friend after? What friend? Chris. Oh no. Oh, like the film. The, the the old film, the black and white. The the monster with the little girl with the water. Who? Jada, who was that? Chris. Where? Where did you see him, Jada? He's there in the room or what? In the walls. Okay, that's not creepy. It's given me, I don't know why, but it's given me vibes of The Candyman, the remake of it by Jordan Peele. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the way it's filmed. I'm not sure. Hang on, don't believe it, but I'm going to prove it to him. You better pray that Curtis don't die. Oh, it's him that done it then. There are more mental clinics around here instead of police precincts. Hell, I'd probably be in a different job. Whole different hustle. <laughs> She's got some guts, so give her that. Y'all niggas remember when that daddy came to me? Hell, I almost forgot he had a daughter the way he kept talking about his baby boy. Damn. I'm the one that's keeping your fucking family alive! I have to keep an eye out for this guy, whoever this actor is. I quite like him. He's a nasty bit of work. Good actor. And she's good as well, the girl. I'm trying to look in the distance to see if I can see anything. I do like the way that it's, as I say, the way it's shot and it's filmed though, because it's very, very intimate. It's all like on an estate, very enclosed, claustrophobic feeling, small cast. I quite like that about it. Well, he's going to be in there, isn't he? So. Why is all the gear there and the drugs there? Why did he take it there? Because if it is him, there must be some sort of consciousness still there. For him to be aware, if it's him. Jesus. She's creepy. Behind you. 
Is he in there? He, he's got to be in there. I'm a little bit nervous. I've got sweaty palms a little bit. I saw that. I guess that's the guy that's following her. So why is she running from him now? She bloody made him. Did he just talk? Oh my goodness. Whoa. No, 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 Dad. There's no wonder. So does he understand the monster or not? Like, I'm, I'm, I just need to know. It's all like dreamy as well and very surreal, the way that it's filmed. Oh my God. Oh wow. That made me jump. Say the grace. Come on. And bless the hands that prepared it. Amen. Okay, he's right there. Dig in. So if he's talking to her, that means that he must still have his consciousness about him, I guess. I wouldn't be able to function, man. If I was living this experience, how the hell can you function knowing that there's a monster out there? Like, I couldn't. We can't do nothing if we did. Well, the system traps us if we're alive. Fuck the system. Hey. That system that you don't give a fuck about, Aisha. Wow. That's getting heated. You can take in more than one idea. What if both of you are all right? <laughs> <laughs> stubborn women. No matter the race, all women are stubborn. That will never, ever change. It's so hard. I'm trying to be there for you when I fail, Chris. I'm gonna get this right, babe. I promise you. I feel sorry for the dad because he's he's just had it crap, and he really. Watching you, body snatcher. She's a little monster, isn't she? It's not him. It's probably the dealer guys. Oh. Can you open the door, please? Have you seen any suspicious activity? What? Death ain't always got to be so tragic. If only they knew what she'd been doing, eh? <laughs> it's nice to see a bit of happiness amongst all of this doom and gloom. I love you, too, baby. <laughs> hey, pal, where are you headed? It's the description. Uh oh. So he's he's conscious. He's that's all I wanted to know. He's conscious, bruv. You're the monster who kills cops. Holy crap! What? He's not dead though. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at his face, bruv. Oi, that is messed up. Bakari. Oh dear. So he's he, he's gone home then. So he's conscious of knowing what's going on and everything, right? Hey! It's your son, bro. Does he realise that it's him? Where you been? Everybody said you was dead. Chris. I'm, I'm feeling uneasy. Is it him or not? You know what I heard on the phone? Curtis is dead. Oh. Why is he attacking the dad, though? Oh, my God. What the hell, bruv? But why is he attacking the dad? Dad? I don't understand why he killed his dad. I'm confused a little bit. Damn. But why? Why? Why dad?
Man, it's so traumatising and just like dark and morbid, the whole thing. Get away. Oh, he's next. Get away from me! I said get away! Oh shit, he's still alive. I would have gone there with a weapon. If someone just hit me with a machete on my shoulder, I wouldn't have just gone there. And here comes her brother. Oh boy. Unlucky, mate. You're not going to make it. Oh, no. He's like cutting his... <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full, mate. I know I need him alive. Are you crazy? I need him alive. I need him alive so I can see what we're doing with it. Fuck do I kill him? Him. 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 I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, she's a genius in one way. You know, she is a genius. She brought back a monster, but she brought something back to life. As crazy as this is, she's still done it. What, just use the electricity to wipe his heart out, maybe? We gotta go the fuck back out there with that thing. Oh, Kingo, Kingo, we need both. I don't know how he's still alive, as I say, man. A machete straight through the shoulder there. And it's gone halfway down, like, it'd bleed out. But I like the idea of it taking the whole Frankenstein concept and flipping it on its head a little bit. It's it's pretty cool. I shouldn't have never sent Chris to kill them niggas. Go preppy lab. I got the rest. Go! Okay. So notice the other crazy thing about this is, right? It shows you can make a movie on a, a complex or, a, you know, like a block of fat flats or a state and you can make a whole movie just with that. Like ten, five or six rooms and ten people in the movie. That's it. And cameras. It's, that's, that's why I rate it. He's not getting nowhere, this guy. Oh dear, he's there. Jada, how did you find this place? Okay, no, you... What is she doing? Oh my God, what happened to you? What happened? I saw Chris. Hmm? He's coming. I love how she's just so cool with it. Something happened when he was out there because he came back different. Are we getting pieces of the story about something about the father there? I've, I don't know if I've missed it and you lot are understanding it, but I think I've missed something. Jada, it's not safe. You can't stay here. Never, ever, ever open one of them, especially when there's a monster coming for you. There you go. Oh my god. He's got glass and everything in his head. So that's the thing that she was using for the elect like the electricity. Okay, we've got that. But what was that about what the little girl said? That's I showed her your father is or something. Okay, I get what she's saying with the electricity, but how is she going to get electricity to hit her again? I can't remember what she did. Oh, dear. He kind of come out of nowhere, didn't he? Run, girl. What's the plan? Hoping that he'll run into it? What are we doing here, girl? Oh, is that so he's going to run into it, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's going to come round the other way, isn't he? There he is. Oh, my God. Those screams were disturbing. For a low-budget movie, that was shocking. 
The makeup's really good. Of course he's not dead. He's not dead. Of course he's not dead. They called him a monster. They made him one Jada. Can you bring our family back like you did to Chris? What's she talking about? No one believed it was Chris. Not even Aisha. They attacked him. You can bring them back. I know you can. So he killed them all. Holy shit! You saw what happened with Chris. That no! The pregnant girl as well! Oh my god, that is so fucked up! They can't. You mean? He's killed everyone because they thought he was a monster. That's going to be one traumatised kid. What did you just say? They were just here. What? I don't understand. What does she mean? They're still fresh. What does that mean? Are you kidding me? She's going to fucking try... Oh boy. Can you hear me? What? <laughs> what? He's alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> to do the whole it's alive, it's alive. Amazing. It's amazing. Victor, Victor Frankenstein. Fucking sick. <laughs> Round of applause. I really, really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the angry black girl and her monster based on Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. As per usual, we're going to do the three things that we like, the three good, the three bad, and then our rating. I thought the casting for this film it was really, really good. The guy who played Kanga or Kango, he was the, the drug dealer leader. I thought he was putting a really good performance. I think the main girl was fantastic. The little girl was brilliant also. I'd also like to praise the team behind the practical effects for this. I thought that was really good. I thought the monster looked absolutely fantastic. Thirdly, I really liked the location of the film because it was very small, compact with a little cast. In terms of a rating, I'd say this is probably a 6 or a 7 out of 10 this is like my middle ground and it? it's always like the middle ground i either go a film's really good it's difficult to rate these movies but i will watch it again I, d I definitely will watch it again i wish they did more movies like this even though i don't think it's like top tier brilliant our oh, masterful movie i still think that they should make a lot more movies like this because it reminded me of a few other things that i mentioned during watching it especially as well it reminded me of an english film called attack the block with john boyega which came out probably 10 15 years ago and it's a similar sort of thing small locations alien monsters and stuff like that and it's based on those um, the old horror classic type movies I would love to see something like this in India with Dracula Brazil with the mummy I don't know just something like that that's in a tight knit community that's completely off the rails throwing a werewolf in Bangladesh or something like that do you know what I mean something that's really different but tells them old tales that we know oh so well may not be for everyone but it's something that I thoroughly enjoyed I'd like to thank you all for watching ladies and gents there will be more videos later on this week and on patreon this week a little special we're going to be doing the witcher so the witcher is out this week on netflix so i will be doing that on patreon so if you want to watch it with me come and join patreon and we'll get stuck into the witcher season three with that being said i'm going to sign out now because it's flipping hot and i need a cold shower thank you very much for watching i'm ramon this is hit on miss tv peace thank you so much for watching the video but why in there oh you could watch that one up there look there's another one there Watch more if you like. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah.